Hello again, it's Jane here to give you a quick Pilates warm up demonstration. So, after the setup while standing, you want to make sure that your feet are directly under your hips, toes pointing forward, and we're just going to start to work into a short warm up. This is to immobilize the neckline, it's to immobilize the joints, every single joint in the body, and get you ready, warmed up for the workout ahead. So, just checking that you've got a small peach underneath the chin and the collarbones. Neck is nice and long, elongating from the crown of the head to the tailbone. We're going to take a nice big breath in through the nose, work into our left neckline. Exhale and take a look over the right shoulder. You breathe in back to centre and then exhale over to the left hand side. Just feel the smoothness in the neck the elongation of the crown of the head up towards the ceiling and just checking that you're keeping that imaginary peach underneath the chin and the collarbones. So we're just going to do this a couple more times just to really work into the muscles in the neckline. Exhaling, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth and then change in direction. Just so you start to nod your chin towards your chest and lift, chin to chest and lift. So we're starting to bring some flexion through to the delicate cervical vertebrae in our neckline. You're imagining that you're squashing that peach and you're really elongating through the crown of the head. So imagine gold thread lifting your skull back up towards the ceiling. So a couple more of those just to really work into that neckline and then change in direction. Ear low to shoulder this time. Really feel that side neck lengthen, exhaling to the other side, side, inhaling back to centre and the opposite side. Nice slow even movements, mm -hmm. spend with a little bit longer if you feel any stiffness in the neck and then maybe change in direction again. Ear low to shoulder, chin rolls to chest, over to the left hand side and lift. Exhale to the left hand side, inhale to rotate the neck round, exhale up. So we're just working with that neckline. Maybe closing the eyes, eyes open. Okay, into the shoulders this time, we're going to lift the right shoulder up, back and down, and then the left. So we want to open out that chest, really start to feel the scapula lift up and wing out to the side. So we think about using our mid back muscles to lift the shoulder up and then the latissimus dorsi, the serratus anterior to drive that shoulder blade down. And you can work into this a little bit of coordination. So thinking about bringing the shoulders forward this time. Just noticing how that scapula moves on your back, how we're working with circumduction into that shoulder girdle and then we're going to have a go at trying to rub our head heart heart tummy at the same time the right shoulder goes forward as the left shoulder goes back and then the left shoulder goes forward as the right shoulder goes back and we're just going to do that a few times really working into the shoulder area drawing that navel towards the spine and lifting up the pelvic floor and just make that your last one. From there, we're going to abduct the right arm away from the side of the body and then add it back into abduction. Then take it to the left hand side. Mm. And just noticing how those mid back muscles lift the arms, how the serratus anterior, the latissimus dorsi drive the arms back. So you want to think about the resistance of lifting the arm up and the resistance of taking the arm down. Gradually becoming bigger and bigger <laughs> each movement. And then with the right hand side, we're going to really drive the fingertips point to point so you get a nice lengthening. And we're going to swap sides. And you might want to just work the arms simultaneously. Using that breath in the body mm -hmm. to drive arms really feeling that stretch uh -huh. trying to relax the shoulder away from the ear really lengthen fingertip to tip fingertip exhale and go for a side bend reach in as you breathe in 
exhaling to squat over, breathing into the pair and lengthen, and then exhale into that side position. And just imagining that you're in between two panes of glass, you try not to rock forward or backwards. Thinking about lifting that rib cage up and away from the hip and really feeling that long stretch in the side of the torso. And just make this your last one. Okay, shrugging the shoulders out, maybe just wiggling the hands, just draw some energy in. We're going to go into a squat where it's flexion and extension into the hips, the knees and the ankle. Toes pointing forward and zipping up and in with pelvic floor transfers to abdominis. We need to just bend your knees, send the arms nice and long, breathe into lift. Exhaling into the squat, reaching forward and Breathing in to reach.